They hate your guts, man. This is uh, Malachi chapter 1, verse 7. It says, Ye offer polluted bread upon mine altar, and ye say, Wherein have we polluted thee? And that ye say, The table of the Lord is contemptible. Okay? And if ye offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with thee? So you, our people do stuff like back in the day, they would premeditate sin. That's why the Lord took away that sin offering, man, because he would watch them uh, go and try to get a bullet, try to get something to, to bring to the altar to uh, to forgive them for their sins, man. But they'd be doing the same shit over and over again, man. So the Lord took that away. So the Lord's saying, basically, you know, you offering stuff to me, you wouldn't even offer your governor, man. You offering uh, stuff to me, you wouldn't even take in front of uh, different councils in the world, man. You give it to me, but you won't give it to them. You give me all the scraps instead of all your heart. And that's exactly how our people are today, man. They have no fear of the Lord, man. It says, this is, uh, and now I pray you beseech Yahweh, that he will be gracious unto us, okay? This have been by your means. Will he regard your persons? The Lord is not a, a, a respecter of persons. He don't give a crap if you small, if you big. He don't care if you in the jail, you out of jail. He don't care if you a slave, that you're not a slave. He don't care if you blind. He don't care if you can't walk. The Lord is not a respecter of persons. In the, in the day of the Lord that we're coming into, Everybody that has a chance to hear this word, kids and kids are everybody. Everybody's going to be judged. Even kids that ain't even came out of their mother's womb. Every Everything's going to get judged, man. That's just the way it is. It says, and ye offer, uh, this is verse nine. Yeah. And now I pray you beseech Yahweh that he will be gracious unto us. This hath been by your means. Will he regard your persons? Saith the Lord of hosts, who is there even among you that would shut the doors for naught? Neither do ye kindle a fire in mine altar for naught. I have no pleasure in you, the Lord says, saith the Lord of hosts. Neither will I accept an offering at your hand. See, <laughs> the Lord be getting ticked off with you niggas, man. For from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles, man. Okay, and that's talking about the Jews that were scattered abroad that didn't know they were Jews, man. The Lord only coming for Israel. When you say Gentiles, everybody thinks, oh, that, that could be white folks. Oh, that could be Indians with the doubt on their head. Oh, that could be all these things. No, if they are, then they go back to Israel. They go back to being... The original Jews uh, in, in Israel, in Jerusalem, man, they go back to being the Israelites. When you hear Gentile in the Bible, it's, it's referring to Jews. Because the Lord ain't going to save. The Lord said that Israel is a peculiar people unto himself. I don't know why I just had to say that because... That's the problem with this world. They think that the Gentiles, like all the Gentiles, I mean, the Lord ain't going to send Paul and Malachi and uh, Jeremiah and Ezekiel and all these prophets to talk to anybody besides Israel. He's not going to send them to talk to any of you people. He don't give a crap about you people. The Bible says the, 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 the other nations are for not. Nah. Let me see if I can find something. The other nations are a spittle to the Lord, man. You know? Let me see if I can find that. Yeah. So, anytime you hear one of these prophets speaking, speaking to Gentiles, speaking of Gentiles and all this, they're, they're talking about Israelites who don't know that they're Israelites. The Lord said that Israel is a peculiar people. You only have I known, what's that? Let me, 
Let me get that. You only have I known. The Lord said, you only have I known from the beginnings of the earth, man. Damn, I'm going to have to delete this app. That app don't even work anymore. Yeah, just look it up, man. Google it or whatever you got to do. The Lord said, you only have I known. So, so I don't know why that's coming out. The Lord must want it to come out. Okay, this is Amos chapter 3 and 2. The Lord's only saving Israelites, man. And all you other people on the earth, man, you know, you got, you got hell to pay, man. Because the Lord made you, just like we read, the Lord made of Romans 9 and 21. <laughs> you know, have not the potter potter over the clay. You know, he does what he want to do. It says, uh, I'll start at Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, have spoken against you, O children of Israel. Man, who's the Israelites? The 12 tribes of Israel. You blacks, Latinos, and Native American tribes. Against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt, saying, verse 2, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. That's cold, <laughs> The Lord ain't, when you hear Gentile, it's talking about Israelites that are scattered because the Lord scattered us in different occasions. And those people had babies with different people, you know, they had babies with different nations and they were scattered in different nations, but they were Israelites, man. The Lord ain't going to send any of his apostles out to talk to anybody but Israel, point blank period. If you can receive it, you can, but the scriptures tell us that. It says, you only have I known. Amos 3 and 2. You only, who is you? Israel, right? You only have I known from all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Okay? All your iniquities. He said, hey, this is like a father. You know, it's like a father. You know, you got a kid, you know, that you, you tell them to clean up the room. You know? <laughs> They they you come back and they they friend they friend there and they still playing and the room the the room is messed up, you know what I'm saying and you know you tell the friend to leave you know you ain't about to uh you know get mad at the friend the friend ain't this ain't it ain't his room it ain't his house you know <laughs> and when a friend get out the way see we ain't talking to everybody we only talking to Israel bring your ass over here and get this whooping from not cleaning that room up you see. That's what the father does, man. See? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, man. This is, uh, I go back to, uh, this is the book of Malachi. And I'll go to, something's wanting me to jump around. Okay? Let's go. Yeah. This is uh, Malachi chapter 4, verses 1, and it says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up. See, we constantly trying to warn our people, man, not only who they are, you know, we talked about in Malachi, the first one, you know, the Lord hates, we try to warn our people that the Lord hates, you know, we go to Deuteronomy chapter uh Chapter uh, 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 29, the Lord kills and heals and wounds, neither their index and liver out of his hand, right? We go to the uh, different chapters, man, different things. Amos 3, you only have I known. So we're talking to Israel. This, this, Israel doesn't know who their power is, man. Basically, this, this lesson is basically like our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. They don't know, neither do they want to know about the Lord. Therefore, he's going to destroy them. I'll close off with this. You know, hopefully, I know I was just everywhere. Let's go to the book of Second Edris.
This is Second Edges, chapter nine. See, our people are destroyed. We went to the, uh, Job, basically going back through in my mind the lesson. We've been talking about how the Lord kills and He heals. We were talking about how Israel, who's Israel, and why don't they fear the Lord? They don't have no fear of the Lord. They say they love the Lord, but they don't love the Lord. We find out the Lord hates. We find out all types of things. We find out that the Gentiles are Israelites. The Lord would never send his prophets to preach to save any of you other nations besides Israel, man. And let's stop it right here at 2 Edges chapter 9. And I'll start at 20. And Edges says, So I considered the world and beheld there was peril because of the devices that have come into it. Now, what are some of those devices? Esau, Edom, the wicked, who is a curse on the earth. Everything the white man touches, he destroys it. He touched our people. He's destroying our people. He not only hung them from trees, he messed them up during the edu he, in education. You know, he messes them up in the, econ in the economic sector. He messes them up with the media. He messes them up with religion and white man Jesus. He is a parasite to the earth, man. So the Lord's trying to warn you of the things to come. The Lord is trying to warn you who this curse is. But you want to save that devil. The Lord said you're going to go down with him because he is a device, a wicked device. You see what they're doing? Bill Gates got all types of uh uh you know they're killing all the uh they're killing all the uh the chickens and the, the the cows and dumping all the milk and all these things for the last few years. Now you get all types of uh fires going down uh on meat processing plants only to bring in Bill Gates uh synthetic meats, man. We see what y'all doing, you're not slick. Second edges nine and twenty. So I considered the world and beheld there was peril because of the devices that were come into it. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of a cluster and a plant of a great people. Who's that great people? Israel, man. The Lord said, I think it's in the book of Deuteronomy also, that, that thou art peculiar. He said, Israel is a peculiar people unto him. He formed us to be his alone, not for everybody else. Because we future kings and queens of the earth, man. When the kingdom of heaven come down, we going to be on top, man. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the scriptures, man. And the Lord said, read the scriptures. It is written of me. This is 22. Second Edges chapter 9 and 22. So the Lord in 21, he said he's. He's talking about his leg. He's kept him one grape of a cluster of Israelites that were made to perish in vain. Just like you East, just like you damn Edomites. You're going to die. Just like you Moabites. Uh, China think they taking over. The, the Lord going to kill them. Russia think they taking over. The Lord going to take their ass out too. He only using them to further in his, uh, his prophecies, man. The Lord going to take all you people out and you're going to be in slavery up under us. Thus saith the Lord, and I believe it. That's right. You're going into slavery. You're going into slavery. If you're watching this, you're going into slavery. Go ahead and strike the video, whatever the fuck you got to do. You devils is going into slavery, man. Thus saith the Lord. And I can't wait. Second Edges 9 and 22. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. The Lord said that people were born in vain. The creator of spirits, created spirits... <laughs> And put them inside of these people, these flesh vessels, only to be destroyed. And he laughs about it. He, he sits back and mocks. He's like, yeah, yeah, that, that makes me happy. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. You people have no idea who our power is. You have no idea who Yahweh Bashem Shai is. The Lord in, in, in 2nd Edges chapter 9 said, let the multitude perish then which was born in vain and let my grape be kept in my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. 
It's coming to a time where you're going to have to decide what side you're on. And, and the scary thing is, like, it's not even up to you. It's not even up to you. Man's goings are of the Lord. How then can he find his own way, right? If the Lord ain't choose you, if he ain't choosing you right now, if he keeps denying you, you can't get the Holy Spirit. You don't understand things. You're proud. Get ready for that fire, man. Shalom.